After eight years in corporate oil and gas, Avalon realized her genuine curiosity and passion for helping people was never going to be fulfilled. It led her on a journey away from a successful career where during her MBA, she made the decision to trust her instincts and specialize in entrepreneurship and innovation. Avalon's passion for helping people make clean lifestyle choices led her to her first business as an online green beauty retailer. During this time that she found herself mixing and matching supplements while feeling confused and unsatisfied. It was those moments that inspired Aura Inner Beauty, a way to help people the most. After years of trying to conceal and treat a myriad of skin issues with every topical product available, she discovered the power of probiotics, adaptogens, and collagen that helped heal her skin from within. This powerful trio shaped the way she dealt with chronic stress, bouts of fatigue, burnout, and various changes as a result of pregnancy. After overcoming her struggles, she thrives on helping others improve their overall health and well-being, no matter what someone is going through or what stage of life they're in, by empowering their own inner beauty. <laughs> Let me first introduce you to everyone. You are the CEO of Aura Inner Beauty. And you created this line... Um, I guess after coming out of the corporate world or being in the corporate world and discovering that you needed something else to help in inside rather than just topically on the outside. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So I want to start first by um, just like, how did you come up with the brand itself or uh, inner beauty? We, we launched about two and a half years ago now. So we're still a pretty new brand. Um, and we launched our first product, Radiance, when we first launched. And so we launched Radiance because that's kind of where my story around health and wellness started. And about in my mid-20s, I suffered from hormonal acne, mm -hmm. um, or what I thought was hormonal acne. And it was a four-year process for me of trying everything and nothing working. And it was such a roller coaster to go through. And finally, I discovered the, the power of um, probiotics and prebiotics, um, adaptogens, antioxidants, and collagen. And so I was really surprised that like my healthy lifestyle, my active lifestyle, and somehow I could still have all of these imbalances. And so realizing that there is a time and a place to take supplements and there is like an importance of supplements or whole food supplements in your life. Um, I really just became so passionate about it. And I wanted to share that with other women who were going through other issues. And there wasn't really a product on the market that had all of the ingredients and all of the supplements that is mixing and matching in one thing. So that's where I started. I started with Radiance. And um, that's where our interview came in and yeah. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Cause I think that is an issue and I feel like it's never touched on or talked about. We're always like, you know, doing all these different topical things for everything on our body and never really going inward and seeing what do we have to adjust or fix. And um, maybe you can kind of talk a little bit about the, those different, like the probiotics, um, and adaptogens because I don't know much about the adaptogens and I've kind of co been understanding collagen a little bit more in probiotics but maybe you can touch on each of those three and then we can get into what the products each do okay um yeah I'll start with I'll just say that our so radiance which is our inner beauty powder and that's this wait I want to say I think it's yeah, the pink one radiance yeah, yeah so that's the one that supports skin okay um and then resilience supports your body yeah. But both have um, pro and prebiotics, adaptogens, and antioxidants. And we wanted that to be really clear in the story. So I think that goes back to, you know, when you have a problem and someone says, oh, try this or try that or do this. Yeah. And I really do think it takes a holistic approach. And so instead of buying three different supplements, we've really put it into one. So it holistically nurtures your health and you know, whatever issues you're going through by addressing a number of things going on in your body. And so that's um, one thing I think sometimes people have a lot of questions about because they want it to do just one thing, but it does so much. So starting with the pro and prebiotics, um, probiotics, I think most people know what probiotics are by now, but they help promote healthy gut flora. Um, prebiotics help feed the probiotics and just help really nourish your gut um, and 
make their probiotics more effective. And so for me, I was, I know that I had digestive issues from, that was what my acne was related to. And so I know. (laughs) And so realizing um, how much your, your gut has an impact like the idea of a leaky gut. um, Yeah, that I just can't, I couldn't believe how much of an impact your gut has on so many other things. Um, So that's why we have the pro and prebiotics. Now we get into adaptogens and adaptogens, I think are still a little new and not Mm -hmm. as heavily searched, but they're just so important. And so adaptogens really help your body resist stress. And so that's not saying that when you take an adaptogen, you're not going to feel any stress, but when you take an adaptogen, it helps your body adapt to the situation. So instead of having a trigger that goes all the way up here and might result in an anxiety attack or something, you're going to be able to like navigate that stress a lot better. And so I think that's where sometimes people don't really understand adaptogens quite yet. No, but yeah, basically it helps like keep everything in balance. Um, so in radiance, we use Shisandra berry. Okay. It's a little bit more specific to um, estrogen. It helps balance estrogen more so. Okay. And it, it also helps tremendously with skin. So that's another reason why it's in there. But then holy basil, which is in resilience, has more of an effect on cortisol. Oh, so more yeah. if you're feeling like more body stress. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You know, and you hear, I, I hear about holy basil a lot, but, you know, there's so many things that are circulating and you hear them. And I do think it's hard because we hear so many and are we going to take like, 12 supplements that's always the challenge too so i i think it's so amazing that it could be in like you're already just explaining that it's in this and it makes it a lot simpler for people to say like okay maybe i can start with this and see how my body works and and makes the adjustments rather than trying to figure out every single thing and taking every single one that's amazing yeah yeah so that that's the story that we yeah. we work a lot to try and educate people because they are really different yeah um another thing I'll talk about adaptogens really quickly because yeah. I see this happen a lot in the industry um where our supplements are made in Canada and so we have a different regulatory body than the, uh, mm-hmm. the U.S. Yeah. um but every single ingredient is actually reviewed and approved for medicinal amounts and help by Health Canada Oh, wow. And so a lot of, especially with adaptogens, I find is that people add an adaptogen. They say it has this adaptogenic effect, but you need to have the right amount for it actually to make an, a difference on your stress. Uh-huh. And so our ingredients have that. Um, Amazing. Yeah. You know, and that's something you wouldn't even know. And, and I think is always a challenge too, is how much, because it could be in there, but if it's a tiny, tiny amount, you may not feel or see a difference yeah and so we see that in the food and beverage industry a lot like even in Canada because that's separate from supplements but so if something is in like hot chocolate or and it says plus this right um it might only have 100 milligrams when you need equivalent to like two two thousand milligrams and And so (laughs) yeah (laughs) I know it's so confusing it's so much information and a lot that I've gone through and worked through and I hope that I can educate people on that so um yeah I just wanted to mention that about adaptogens because that is a really really key part about taking adaptogens is that you're actually getting enough of it that makes sense yeah and so in a uh, so this is a, a teaspoon serving but in a serving I that's where you'll be getting enough of that in in this yes yeah exactly so um, a whole nother more sciencey topic, but there's something called like like an extract ratio. Okay. And so an extract ratio really means the potency. Mm-hmm. So if you see like an extract of extract ratio of 10 to one, it basically means how much is in there is 10 times more potent. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's, and so yeah. <laughs> you don't see that you're, you don't even know that really. No, no. Yeah. Wow. So we're, we're actually redoing all of our powders to try and explain that more coming out mm-hmm. in the summer as we switch to a compostable pouch as well. Um, Cause I just, I want to try and educate people on that more and more. So. Yeah, I think that's, that's one of my goals. And actually why I do this is because um, there are so many products 
and so many different things and these buzzwords that you hear you know like college I mean right now collagen is like the word that everyone's talking about and partly why I wanted to do this but I like going into depth because it's so confusing and you don't I, I think too many people might just go out into the market and buy the first one they see and not really know what it does. And then mm -hmm. to look at yours and see that, you know, you are covering all the different parts and it's, you're not just getting lost in one or just saying it has this one ingredient in it. It's going to be the magic pill to anything. Um, yeah. And uh, I guess that kind of leads into the collagen a little bit. We, we can, we can talk about that. Cause that's now is collagen also on this or is that separate from no, no collagen is in the powders. Okay. So it's separate. So these powders, you would, when, when would you recommend them, I guess, to someone? Is this a good place to start if you're starting with, with any of this? Um, I find the powders have so much nutrients in them that, um, you know, people don't really think about as much in terms of supplements in your diet. Hmm. And so I think that we often look to supplements to fix a certain problem and a lot of the supplements on the market are synthetic. And so mm -hmm. what I mean by that is that um, like synthetic vitamin K or synthetic um, iron and research shows that synthetic vitamins aren't actually well absorbed by our body. I think a lot of people know that like you actually absorb only like 10%. Yeah. Um, taking too much of a synthetic vitamin can be dangerous. And so these powders are actually meant to be like a natural extension of your diet, which is by using whole foods it's actually absorbed by your body um so you have i see a radiance there the first two ingredients is camu camu and rose hip and that yeah. gives you that 54 percent of naturally occurring vitamin c oh um wow. so yeah that's 100 percent from plants that is not added synthetically and so that's just really adding on to your diet so if you aren't getting a lot of um in this case for radiance if you're not getting a lot of berries or you don't think you're getting enough vitamin C daily, um, things like that is where we yeah. want it to be an extension, plus all the benefits of adaptogens, plus all the benefits of the pre and probiotics. Got it. Oh, wow. Now, is there a certain amount of probiotics I guess someone should have in, in their diet regularly on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, most people recommend at least 5 billion. Okay. Um, so if you're looking for any probiotic, usually 5 billion if you want to have like more noticeable results. Yeah, yeah. Um, we use 7.5 billion. We find that to be the most effective. But and if someone's taking a probiotic and then they wanted to do this, is there any issue with that? Like already taking one and then also taking this? Or I think it would be dependent. Yeah, like they're, most people don't need to take two. And okay. so if they're already taking a probiotic, that might be good enough for them. And then they wouldn't be taking this okay. or this could replace their current probiotic. Right. So like if they wanted to, which is sort of what I, where I see this being really beneficial is because you can maybe take that one extra vitamin out of your routine and add this and then also get the adaptogens and everything else into your routine. Yeah. 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 So that was the vision. The vision is to try and have everything into like in terms like of your holistic nutrition is our inner beauty powders. And so it really eliminates a lot of those multiple supplements. Mm. And we still need to make sure we build that trust with the customer, but then you don't have to think so much into everything that you're taking. Yeah, so, that's, that's the hardest part is it's constantly, yeah. I know for me, cause I take a lot of different supplements and I'm always trying to add different things into my diet and it, it is hard. It's a struggle. And you're, it, you do want something that makes it easy and also isn't a lot. I love when I saw one teaspoon, cause I was like, oh, it's not, <laughs> I don't have to fill like a big cup up and do this whole thing. You're getting so much packed into this. Yeah, so, you are. Um, I also saw on here inulin and that's been another buzzword or one that I've heard a lot about and the benefits of it. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so inulin is a prebiotic. Okay. Um, you get it usually from either chicory root or guave. And so we have a mix of both in there. Hmm. Um, it's really interesting because they say that there's not, there's not enough studies done on prebiotics to start with that, but there's some like early research saying that something like chicory root actually helps clear out a section of like one section of your small intestine. And so like different prebiotics have different effects. 
Wow. And so um, we're actually launching a third inner beauty powder later this year, but all three of them have different prebiotics because we just want to be able to give people diversity. Mm. And if they switch from radiance to resilience to the third one, right. um, then they're, they're getting a variety in their diet. Can you take a, like, can you have both of them and like one day take one and another, or would you recommend staying with one? I recommend staying with one. Um, they, they're both fully loaded in a way. Yeah, right? yeah, you don't yeah. really need to take both, even though like a lot of people ask us this because you're <laughs> like, I want the benefits from all of it. Right. Yeah. Um, so I think just listen to your body. So usually we say if you're dealing with um, skin issues or you have skin inflammation, then take radiance. Um, if you're feeling like sluggish and low in energy and just kind of having a harder time getting out of bed, you switch to resilience. Um, it has naturally occurring vitamin K and iron. So I don't know if you noticed that on that one, but that's all from the greens. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I see it now on this one. I didn't see it on that. Yeah. The, the iron. Yeah. I mean, the iron's big. Cause if you have, if you're low in that, then your whole body can feel sluggish and tired. So, um, yeah, exactly. That's, that's huge. And that's a nice thing to have in here. I feel like, cause sometimes iron is annoying to take <laughs> on its own yeah frustrating so to know that you're getting it here in a in a in a, i i, I want to say in a in a natural way so that's coming from mostly from the greens then the iron yeah wow yeah all from stuff in the, scale, the spinach the broccoli it's yeah. all organically grown in canada too so i um, i'm yeah. so excited like i can't wait to show everybody like tell everybody more about this because i've only been talking about the collagen but like when you read the back of it it's so amazing because you really have first of all everything you read is like i know what that is i know what that is yeah and your um like the i think it was this one the other like non-medicinal ingredients even those are not like they're good they're yeah. good clean and i that's the first thing i check on any label because you'll look and all of a sudden like the first few things look okay and then you see all these different colors or just stuff that's not good for your body at all and it's like why am i doing all these benefits and then having those things in it so yeah it's really interesting I'll, I'll share one thing because I've been um just obsessed over this lately but from the supplier side so I think a lot of people also don't know about supplements it's like I'm not growing the kale and processing the kale by myself you work with really good trusted suppliers right and um we work really hard to pick every ingredient we work with mm -hmm. but some some ingredients already have non-medicinal ingredients in it based on how they process it. Oh wow. And so I work really hard to pick the type of processing so that there's no added ingredients before it even gets to me. Because I don't want any added ingredients in my product. And so right. I don't want any ingredients even earlier on. It makes sense. And a lot sometimes those ingredients aren't even shared on packages no way yeah oh and wow i know there's this like whole other side about so like selecting ingredients and working with suppliers that yeah. um consumers don't even get to see no. that i'm so passionate about but yeah. nobody gets to know what i know and, and it matters <laughs> because that changes what product you're going to use and buy to know that you do that and pay attention to that would and this is why it's so important to talk to people and hear, have like a voice behind the brand and get to know it more is because you don't, no one knows that, you know, they may see pretty packaging or they see a few of the ingredients say, oh, that looks good. But to know that you go even a step further is just, I mean, that's amazing to know. Um, yeah. That so you're paying attention to that. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping to drink, bring more transparency to the industry because yeah. yeah, I think those things are important. And as a consumer, I know what I want. I'm really picky. So yeah. it makes it easier um, actually having the control to build the product and pick everything that I like. But. No, that's how I am. And it's, it takes a lot of effort to really, really go through and see the brand and like it's research. I mean, I feel like I spend hours and days reading and looking over it and like, you know, just continue for my own self, you know, for my own, for what I'm putting in my own body. And, um, you know, down to even like capsules when you're looking at what they're made at. I mean, just every little thing. Um, and that's, you know, I really, I think I appreciate that the, that you're taking the time to do it and then being open enough to talk about it and share the things that you're doing too, because that takes a lot for any brand 
you know, to want to come out and do. And it says a lot about who you are and what, what you're representing too. So it's just, I mean, that's amazing. Um, let's get into the collagen because okay. that's another thing I want to talk about. <laughs> I, honestly, after I started going through everything, I was excited. I Oh, let me turn this, my watch. Okay. Um, no, so I am going to take it out of the box. I tried the, I've been trying the, is it the berry one? The hibiscus? Yeah. I love the flavor. It's amazing Good. because I've tried collagen and sometimes they have a taste. I just, a texture and a taste <laughs> to them. Yeah. <laughs> that's like not a, even especially when and I think that's why I I I like yours is because it's a liquid. Um and you can talk a little bit about this, but I've tried a lot of powders and for some reason they and I I'm I, I know there's a lot of good ones, but they always when I mix them they feel clumpy and unless I'm really mixing them in like a shake or something that's get getting blended, it's a little hard to drink, like to take. I've found, besides the taste being amazing, I found putting this in to water, and I only put it in maybe like eight ounces of water. I drink it so easily with nothing. Like I don't feel anything. It doesn't bother me to have. That makes um, me so happy. That's no, exactly it does. what I wanted. <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard because that's what ends up making me like not take something or not, or you stop. You know, you try it, you buy it, you invest your money, and spend money on stuff like this. And then you're like, I don't even like it. I can't take this every day. You avoid it. And then, you know, you miss all the benefits of it. So um, let's talk about collagen and I guess how you developed it and everything. Yeah. So I actually started from the consumer side, just like you did. I knew collagen was so popular. I really got into reading the research about it. 100% stand behind it. And then I go to take it and I'm like, I cannot. <laughs> I have a sensitive smell. I yes. have a sensitive taste. Um, like even the the flavorless, odorless uh, yes. collagen is smell fishy to me. I could not. That's and, always my fear. I literally I like, I, and I opened it. And I was like, is it going to be fishy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I get it. And I was like, I can't drink this, and I want to drink this. Yes. So how can we do this better? And so um, I thought about it and I thought about um, our powders, which I'm obviously really passionate about. Our powders do not have any protein mm -hmm. and collagen is the perfect protein. It has really good benefits behind it. And so it would complement our powder so well. And so I really wanted the story to make sense with our whole brand. Um, so yeah, I started looking into it, reached out to a number of different manufacturers, um, I actually ended up finding a local formulator who specializes in liquids um, in Calgary. And so we went through a very long process trying to develop this. Um, the, the flavor I originally wanted was strawberry rose. Oh, wow. And <laughs> it's really funny, that idea of like escalation of, com of commitment. Yeah. <laughs> because the rose was just not working every time. I think I tried like 10 different samples to finally, I was like, no, it's not going to work. This is like too much of a unique flavor. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we ended up with wild berry hibiscus. Um, the hibiscus is actually an organic extract of hibiscus. It's not a flavor. Oh, wow. Um, so you're getting lots of antioxidants from that as well, even though we don't market it that way, but yeah, yeah it's yeah. an organic extract. And then the organic wild berry flavor, um, organic palm free glycerin. So that was something really big on my list. Um, I don't know if you've researched glycerin before. I haven't, but I know, you know, the things that I've heard around. <laughs> yeah. And so that was really challenging. Um, it's about five times the cost compared to palm oil glycerin. And so we still decided it was something that we really want to care about. Yeah. Um, so every little ingredient, like every detail we really honed in on, on for a relatively simple product, but still a lot of decisions. Yeah. Um, so I wanted the flavor to be inspired like spa infused water. And so if you had strawberries, mm. 
um, just soaking in water, what, like when you go to the spa and it just has this very, very subtle taste. Yes. yes. And so I'm sure you notice it has like a very subtle taste, right? Yes. It's, yeah. It's so subtle, but it's like, it's like you said, it's like spa is just enough, like where you have that yes exactly yeah <laughs> so um a lot of our customers really really love it yeah. um sometimes I don't know maybe some people want it more flavored but yeah we just really love the subtlety of it yeah. no it's nice I I mean I think it's really nice especially I've I've been using it at night more I just tend to use supplements at night and it's easy like I don't feel overwhelmed like there's not too much flavor or sometimes when there's a lot of flavor, I feel like you also feel like you, it, you're making it into something you have to drink or sip or anything like that. So yeah. I think it's just enough where you have it, maybe you're, you know, sipping it, but pretty much can take it in a serve in a, you know, in one serving and be okay. Yeah. I, I like it a lot. And then it mixes well with the powders because the powders have a long more flavor. Oh, so yeah. So you, you would say you could put the powder right in with the collagen in the water and do that whole, oh. Yeah, so we have this, um, I don't know if you've received the frother. We just yeah. got our rose gold frother back in stock. It was out of stock, okay. but it just, it ends up blending our powder perfectly. And so in like a big glass of water, you put your collagen and you put um, radiance or resilience, and then you okay. just mix it all together. Oh, I have to try that one. Yeah. yeah. I love your bottles, by the way. <laughs> I was like, they're just, they're so gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> that was the other thing I didn't talk about. Originally, I wanted it to come in a dropper. Like I oh, thought yeah. you could do, like drop into yes, water. Yeah, yeah. But I'm like, you need way more collagen <laughs> than what would fit in a dropper. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, we had to pivot and make it into um, another bottle. But I really wanted it to represent um of course our, our brand is called aura inner beauty i wanted it to look like it belongs in a beauty store um not something that belongs in the supplement aisle yes and so i think just by elevating the experience of wellness it's something that you look for to enjoy mm. it kind of makes sure that you're continuing to take it without even having to think about it yes. where i did a lot of research on pill fatigue which is basically where you just get so sick of taking capsules and pills and you end up forgetting because there's like no emotional connection to it. It's so and true. Yeah. yeah. So I'm having this like really beautiful bottle and like this really subtle flavor. It just allows you to connect more deeply with the brand. I feel that honestly <laughs> I do. And I think, you know, like I, I've been leaving it out on my counter and I think because the aesthetic of it is so nice, you know, it's like that subconscious thing. If it's out and you see it, you're going to use it. And because it's so pretty and it looks so nice, it is out. And I think you do use it more just for the fact that it's, you know, right out on your counter. You like it. Uh, I mean, the way the bottle looks, it's like, it makes you want to use it and it makes you want to take it. And then it obviously doesn't look bad on the counter. So <laughs> that's nice. Yeah. Too. yeah. yeah. So, um, I guess what else is about collagen is that every single um, ingredient is sourced from Canada um, for our collagen product. We try to work with local suppliers wherever possible because it really does reduce our carbon footprint. Mm. It's less for the ingredients to get from the place where they're coming from to our manufacturing to us, um, but specifically for the marine collagen. So the marine collagen is actually from Nova Scotia, Canada. Okay. Um, it's <laughs> great. It's, it's nice to have that local supplier because they also follow, um, Canadian like fishing quotas mm. and you just, you can trust, I can trust the Canadian right re regulations. And I know that they're not overfishing and I know that there is that control there. Um, so yeah, that's just one of the reasons that we worked with that supplier specifically. Right. Do you notice a difference in the marine collagen versus other types of collagen? Yeah. And so I, it's really funny because people really break it into type one, type two, type three. Yeah. It makes it so confusing. What's yes. better? Um, so I was just like refreshing before this and I was looking at, so the three main amino acids in collagen is proline, um, hydroxyproline and glycine. That's what makes like collagen collagen. Mm. And like in terms of like another protein is right. the higher concentration of those three. Okay. And so if you look at 
chicken, which mm -hmm. is considered type two, um, compared to bovine, which is type three, right. bovine has double the amount of those amino acids oh, wow. than chicken. And marine collagen has double those amino acids from beef. And so you have four oh, times the, those three amino acids from chicken collagen. And so right there is that that's how you start to see the more beneficial effects from taking marine collagen. It just has a higher concentration of yeah. the right amino acids. And then it also has smaller peptides. And so it's absorbed mm -hmm. better by your body as well. So then so you also kind of, yeah. Yeah. Oh. And there's just less impurities as well. So that's what I would, that would, that, that's always what I think of. I feel like the impurities are definitely less too, but I never knew the levels explained that way, which makes a yeah. huge difference in, in yeah. taking the marine collagen. Um, what would you say, I guess you can kind of talk about the benefits of the powders and the collagen altogether, but if someone was going to pick this up, what would be, what would be some of the things that would benefit um, after taking it? Um, I know on I know on this for the joint support it says five months, but I'm sure you see other results before that. Yeah, so collagen is interesting because you you usually notice the benefits in your hair, your skin, and your nails is the most like visual. Yeah, yeah. Um, but sometimes it can take longer for people, and so when you first start taking a collagen supplement, collagen is throughout your entire body. And it actually, it goes to whatever part of your body needs it most. And yeah. so that may not be your hair, skin, and nails, um, which is why it takes so long to get to your joints is because the oh. joints don't get it first usually. Right. Um, yeah. So it can really take a variety of time. And I think five months is a really good benchmark to it's just like you know, commit yeah. to taking it yeah. um, to see what you feel after five months. Mm. But some people notice it within a couple of weeks. Wow. That's, I mean, that's amazing. I think I know a lot of people that are interested in it for like the physical beauty benefits of it. Mm -hmm. And um, there is this whole ingestible, you know, thing happening with, with um, beauty products. And I think that's important, but it's almost, it almost ties in back to what you were saying with the gut and everything. If all, if these supplements can help with that, you'll naturally see a difference in your skin and your hair and your nail. All those things will benefit while also supporting your body and making your body healthier as well. Um, which really is the, is, the, is the key here to anything is to getting your body healthy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I always say is that like, we often focus on the short-term benefits, but you're not even thinking about the long-term yeah. benefits. <laughs> yeah. I don't even really care about my skin right now. I care about my skin in 10 years. Yes, <laughs> oh my God, it's so true. <laughs> it's so, so true. yeah, I can really feel it in my, my nails. Like I mm -hmm. always had really brittle nails and yeah. now they're really and no. so it's really interesting to notice those differences that is um yeah. yeah I have like extreme amount of hair so I would never notice it in it'd my be hair. hard right yeah, yeah. yeah. but you see um, it in your nails and your skin I feel like you it's like you see that glow come out pretty pretty quickly honestly <laughs> yeah so I, I think it really is different for everybody um but yeah it if you think about it, it's really just another form of protein as well. So like, there's, there's no harm in taking it, you know, there's right. no like bad side effects or yeah. whatever. Right. So yeah, just, that's, that's a good point. Cause I always worry about that too, is like, am I going to take this and it's not, you know, I'm not going to feel good or I'm going to have some type of side effects. And it's nice to know that that doesn't have, that you don't really have to worry about that. Um, yeah you're just feeding your, feeding your body, essentially, the things that it yeah. may be missing or not getting, or as you get older, um, they're depleting. Um, and that, that's true. It is like, what is it? What are you going to, if you're doing this, if you can start something like this now, a routine now, maybe in 10 years, you won't have to go and do all the extreme things that anyone's doing, you know, to look more youthful or to feel better. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, but only time will tell, right? Like you can't it's, really know it's that true. You know, yeah. yourself. So, right. so you um, can pull that. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, I love this. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk and go over everything and go into more detail about, about all of this. I, I think 
education is key and the more we can learn and understand products from like an inside out point of view, the better um, it is. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs> yeah. Where can everyone, I guess, shop for your products and then also find you on social? Yeah. So um, our website is AuraInnerBeauty.com and our social media is Aura Inner Beauty. Um, we, we are primarily in Canada right now, but we've really started to work with more U S partners. We have some really exciting U S retail partners coming up later this year. So you should be seeing us more locally, um, in a few months. Oh, that's great news. (laughs) (laughs) I love that. I've noticed a lot of good, I, I, for some reason lately, even like a, a jewelry brand that I've been doing some work with. She's in Canada and we've been having a lot of talks and I'm just, I just love it. I feel like it's so, everyone's so friendly and it's, it's just nice um, to have the connection, you know, here in the U.S. Yeah. Where yeah. on um, social can everyone find um, Aura Inner Beauty? We're mostly just on Instagram. Um, we don't really pay attention to really any other channel right now, um, but direct messaging, you know, connecting with us, asking questions. Um, a lot of these conversations I have with people in direct messages mm. or by email. So yeah, like I really encourage anyone to just reach out. Yeah, that's huge. I think the being able to talk about it, it's, it's so nice that you're in front of the brand and like accessible in a way to be able to, to talk about this. I love it. I, I think it's amazing. And um, I can't wait to see it in more stores. <laughs> thank you. Um, thank you so much for this. And um, I will talk to you. We'll see you and talk to you soon. <laughs> okay. Sounds thank good. You. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. Too. <laughs> Bye. Bye.